Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Tap Titans 2 Part 374. I hope you all are having an absolutely fabulous day. Today is going to be the end tournament recap. We're probably going to get some raid attacks in. May, maybe not. We're in a bit of a weird situation in the raid. We have our dailies. We also have um the build i want to go ahead and show you guys the build that i'm currently rocking is a little bit different but i'll get into that in a minute here let's go ahead and start off by doing a prestige here because we are at our new max age of ninety-two thousand nine hundred and eighty. so we pushed just over 500 stages in the last tournament and a little bit of disappointing results but that's okay it happens sometimes but we still push like 500 stages so as long as i feel like as long as we're consistently pushing not over pushing but as long as we're consistently pushing every tournament I'm okay. We're just getting a little bit closer uh, to finishing or to, you know, getting to end st uh, the end cap. So we're going to go and throw on a shadow clone slash here and just kind of sit back and relax. And if we go ahead and we don't have the auto buy. Oh, no, we do. Okay. We still have the auto buy activated, which is perfect. Still have all of our perks activated from when the tournament was live. Let's go and take a look at the right side here. We have two uh, pet levels. We got Basky and Xander. Uh, day nine equipment is going to be, or day nine is going to be equipment pieces, all common. And of course, 25 Firestones putting us at just under. Five, four thousand six hundred fire stones at the moment. We're, I'm doing pretty good in terms of fire stones. I'm not gonna lie, pretty happy with that. Not really at, uh, you know, obviously 10% yet, but we're still doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where we're at at the moment. If we take a look at the shop here, we got some, uh, obviously we're not buying any pets or anything, but we, oh, I already opened up the video chest, my bad. Uh, we didn't get anything good. We got a couple of diamonds at the end of it, which kind of sucks. It's always so exciting. The very last chest gets you such good rewards here. You can get anywhere from dust, fortunate weapons, diamonds, crafting charts, some really good rewards there, but doesn't typically happen. I do want to go ahead and start off by showing you guys the build though. So if we take a look at our skill tree, I am currently rocking a heavenly strike build. So normally I'll go, you know, maybe one to 2000 stages below my max stage. But up until that point, I will go ahead and use a shadow clone slash. It is a little bit slower, but it's just so much more AFK. And especially when I'm making these videos, it's very, very nice to go and have. But I did use a heavenly strike build for this tournament and it was a big it was a big change to say the least i guess you know going from a very very afk shadow clone build where i'll literally go and activate my skills and let them be for six minutes and the only thing i have to do is go ahead and collect my gold from my fairies if i want to uh, but it's just shadow clone is such an afk build and especially now with the perks like make it rain just makes it absolutely such a, a joy to go and use a shadow clone build i still think even after being a heavenly strike build i think shadow clone build is still the best one for me particularly uh because of my play style when i'm in school it is very difficult to go ahead and click heavenly strike every four seconds and i find that it's such a good balance between uh you know pushing potential fast run times um as well as you know your um, you know, the AFKness. You know, you can still get pretty quick run times. My Shadow Clone run times were about four minutes longer than what my Heavenly Strike ones were at its best, using Heavenly Strike the entire run. Um, the pushing potential was quite a bit less, to be honest, or quite a bit more on the Heavenly Strike side, but that's, you know, typical. Um, and then also, you know, it was just so much more active. Obviously, every four seconds, I got to be clicking. So what I was doing was when I was at my max stage, I was trying to go ahead and obviously collect um, all of my, all the fairies for gold. I had to turn off auto buy because it was, it starts buying from top to bottom. And typically your bottom hero is the one that's actually doing more uh, damage. So I turned off auto buy, was making sure I was buying from bottom to top, um, as well as timing the heavenly strike for when my uh, anchoring shot would actually stun the enemy as well as making sure Anchor, uh, Barbaric Fury is still activated and going at the same time. So there were so many things that I was watching. It was the furthest thing from an AFK build. So um, it was definitely, like I said, a totally different experience from what I'm used to with Shadow Clone, but it was still good. You know what I mean? I feel like every build has a specific play style and a specific person that it, uh, you know, targets. For example, uh, my cousin, he can only, he doesn't play this game, but he only plays, uh, you know, video games for about an hour a day. And then after that, he's at work. So so really for people like that, I feel like a heavenly strike build where you can, you know, just play for an hour and get some progress in is better than a shadow clone build where, you know, you may spend 20 minutes just doing a run. Whereas with a heavenly strike build, you may be able to go ahead and get your runs in, you know, eight minutes, right? So it definitely, there's different builds for different people for sure. For me personally, shadow clone, especially right now with school, shadow clone is definitely the best build for me and the one that I'm going to continue to use. But someone in uh, my Twitch chat redeemed with their channel points for me to go ahead and switch to a heavenly strike build for a tournament that's what we did and i want to go and show you guys the results of it so 
Unfortunately, we joined an absolutely packed tournament as you guys saw in yesterday's video, but I feel like we still did decently well. You know, just looking at how many stages we pushed, pushing over 500 stages of tournament around the 93,000 milestone is still pretty good. I feel like that's still a decent tournament. I would say, you know, anything less than three, 400 is probably a little bit on the weaker side, but anything more is still pretty good. If we take a look, it still would have been another about 600, five, 600 stages to actually go and get me to first place. So that's unfortunate. That was really far away. If I wanted to go ahead and get to second place, which I honestly kind of did try to get to second place, that was kind of my original goal this morning. Um, but it just didn't end up happening. You know, the we spent a lot of time rebuilding my uh, skill tree. We spent a lot of time doing artifact optimizers. There was just a lot of things that took a while. You know, it wasn't as efficient or as quick as my shadow clone build because I know exactly what my shadow clone build looks like. I don't have to switch builds. Um, I know exactly how to do my artifact optimizers. I have everything memorized. You know what I mean? There's just a couple different things there for sure uh, that made our Heavenly Strike boat slower. And I only played for about four hours. I only had four hours to play. So four hours to play today. Plus I did a stream yesterday that I did some preparing some solo raids and a few prestigious kind of just preparing. Um, so we did, you know, I feel like we did spend quite a few, quite a bit of time in this tournament, but still didn't quite get the results that I wanted. But 500 stages is quite a bit. Um, from my max stage to where this guy finished, I would have had to push 1100 stages. I didn't really think that was doable. Um, you know, I didn't really expect expect myself to go and push 1100 stages especially with the amount of preparation that i did before i started pushing just didn't really see that happening but we can go and collect our rewards here um six place rewards is still 300 diamonds 70 tournament points 50 crafting shards seven eggs and 140 fire stones. so we'll go and collect all this stuff here uh, the biggest disappointment, I guess, is the crafting shards. Uh, you know, if we would have got first, we would have got another 110 crafting shards, which would have been awesome. But we are working on the uh, Iron Heart set at the moment, so we can't quite afford to craft a second piece, which if we would have got, you know, a little bit better placement, we could have afforded to craft two pieces of the Iron Heart set in this tournament or, you know, just shortly after. But that's going to have to go and wait. You know, the next event is starting here soon, so we'll get some more crafting shards. Or sorry, it's not even starting for a couple weeks, but... Hopefully we can go and get some more crafting shards from the next couple, you know, tournaments that are coming up and stuff like that. But if we don't, we don't. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. But would have been nice for sure to go ahead and, you know, get a couple more crafting shards that we could have went and spent on, uh, you know, maybe getting another piece of Iron Heart. But that will come eventually. That wasn't really my biggest concern. So totally fine with that. If you take a look at solo raids you guys this is something that's been um you know very very difficult this week uh, like absolutely horrible so i don't think i have okay so i still oh no i was gonna retry it but um this solo raids week portal 48 is absolutely brutal i'll go ahead and show you guys the decks here so we have a radio deck my radio is level two so i can't even go ahead and use this one um this deck is great if you can actually get to you know the spot where you've broken all the armor so two is a pretty good option three i tried to use it just didn't work out very well wasn't getting a ton of damage four is basically unusable because you got decaying strike five was the first so my first initial time i went five uh two and then i think five two eight is what i did so five is a really good one a good way to break the armor but again i mean it's not great 12 14 13 these are all not meta cards so they're not really something that we focus on upgrading um level you know six deck is horrible i mean we're not only just attacking the head here so that doesn't work decaying strike and we got cosmic and we also have inspiring force and the issue with that is we have two decks that really benefit from inspiring force and you know no armor so that means with deck five, we got to go and try to break all the armor. And what I can do with deck five is I can break all of the limb armor and get it slightly into the head, almost halfway into the head armor. Well, that means using inspiring force for our last two decks to destroy half of the head armor and the entire torso armor, which keep in mind is 889,000 damage. We may get that, you know, we'll get a little bit over that with, um, you know, this deck on, you know, no armor on limb or on, you know, body damage. So this was just a very, very difficult week. I don't know a lot of people, you know, the, a lot of people, obviously the people that get to rank portal 50 every week in, you know, 20, 30 minutes, they did it no problem. But but for the people that you know struggle every once in a while you know once a month once every two months they'll you know maybe slip up and didn't quite get to portal 50 that's me and unfortunately we couldn't complete 48 i know a lot of people like i said that still could not complete 48 at best i think i was about 100 or 840,000 damage away so definitely struggle i'm not gonna lie but we're still getting uh rewards up to 47 portal 47 so we can go and collect all of this stuff here 
Um, hopefully we can get a couple cards here. Actually, I think we are getting close to, I think I said a purifying blast upgrade in last video. So maybe we'll get close to that. But as you guys know, we don't typically get that many cards out of this, but I did see we actually just got a legendary equipment set. So that could be awesome. A couple skill points, some dust, um, some cards, some equipment pieces, some crafting shards, still getting some really good rewards, but unfortunately only up to portal 47. If we take a look here, we got shadow clone. We got a sword primary boost right there. So a little bit less than, you know, a little bit worse than the one that we had. So we can go and sell it. Uh, but if we take a look at the raid cards, oh, sorry, we did a purifying blast upgrade yesterday's video. That's what it was. So I don't really know what I'm focusing on now. I guess insanity void uh, definitely could go ahead and get an upgrade. I know what I'm doing. Gas, rancid gas needs to go ahead and get an upgrade. This was the most, like, this is the best card that the optimizers tell me to get. Not so much because it's the, gonna increase us by the most amount of damage. It was close. It was about like, I think 45 or 50,000 damage for this upgrade um, for this thriving plague deck, but because it's also so cheap. My totem to upgrade costs so much, 2,445 dust, whereas gas is 1,400 dust. So the dust to damage ratio for Rancid Gas right now was perfect. It was really good. And we're at 9,128 dust. We still got more dust than what we just spent. You know, we got more dust from the solar raids than what we just spent on Rancid Gas. So I'm perfectly fine with doing that upgrade. If we take a look at the shop, we do have a Maelstrom here and I kind of want to stay away from Maelstrom. I feel like we got an upgrade. We kind of got it to the... Uh, most efficient level at the moment. So I think we're going to go back to focusing, obviously, Totem Purifying Blast always. But getting Insanity Void another level up could be very good for us. And that's going to be my next kind of goal there. But now is the time where we go and switch to Heavenly Strike uh, Splash or Heavenly Strike Slash and sit here and spam Heavenly Strike. But guys, with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I will be switching back to a Shadow Clone build as soon as this video is over. I am totally done using Heavenly Strike uh, for right now. Maybe in the future we'll go and try it again, but for right now, definitely done. But guys, with that being said, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and smash like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.